In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to build a brand on Facebook using organic Facebook traffic, so be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Basharka2 here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how to build your brand on Facebook using Facebook organic traffic without any paid ads or without really any um, upfront capital to you. Now, um, just to understand that in order for you to really do this, you do need to be either an expert at something or have some type of a product to sell already. In fact, I am actually going to be providing you guys with a checklist of things that you must have and must do in order for you to be able to present yourself as an expert and also be able to sell your services. So a couple of things are going to happen. Number one, I'm going to be jumping inside of my uh, screen here to show you guys a checklist that I have provided for you guys. Um, also, the first link in the description is going to be to that checklist so you guys can download it, edit it, do whatever you want to do with it. And then the second thing is that I am actually going to be going into my phone screen to show you guys a few of the tasks that I personally do every single day and how I have been able to grow my brand on Facebook alone to six figures by itself. And then also a couple of more things is that if this is your first time to my channel, consider subscribing to my channel as I do post daily videos about selling on Amazon, creating brands, and really just other tips and tricks about how to create passive income using the digital world that is available to us. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Alrighty guys, so we're back here. So once again, as I mentioned that the um, a link to this uh, worksheet or to this uh, uh, list is going to be in the first description or in the description in the first link. And um, you can literally, you know, download it, check it out, do whatever you want to do to it. Uh, but this is going to be available for you guys. So this is a checklist that I have been able to come up with. Um, I have been a, a brand or building my brand on Facebook for the past year to year and a half now. And um, honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know that I was even building a brand until I really was into it or until several months into it, really. So um, I just kind of, you know, sat down, squeezed my brains out and really just put this uh, sheet for you guys. And honestly, this is exactly what I have done in the past year to build my brand. Now, yes, today I do have Facebook ads. I am on YouTube, which, you know, this is how you guys found me. I also have an Instagram. I have a LinkedIn. But when I first got started, I you know, mainly focused on Facebook alone. And really, I want to say about, you know, 90% of my business comes from uh, Facebook alone. And Facebook is just a, a large, large, very large, uh, you know, opportunity, um, especially now with Facebook groups and such. It just is so much easier than it used to be. So a couple of things here. Must have a product, as I mentioned, you know. Now, Yes, you do have to have a product, but a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of people do understand is that you don't really have to have your own product. You don't have to sit there and know you may think that, you know what, I don't have a product just yet. Maybe you are in the phase of, you know, uh, uh, um, trying to quit your nine to five, trying to quit your corporate job, trying to, you know, just, uh, you know, graduated high school or, or college or whatever. And you want to go into the digital world. You want to do something different, right? Um, and you're like, you know what, I don't know anything. Like, really, I know nothing. This is for complete beginners. And for advanced people, this is for people from all over, you know, all different kinds of, uh, um, you know, uh, spectrums, right? So you don't have to have your own product. But believe me, creating your own product is honestly very easy. Like if you can create your own product, I would say it's a lot better. But if you don't, then that's fine. You can start with becoming an affiliate. Like literally, you can become an affiliate for me. I have an affiliate program, right? I provide five hundred dollars per uh, per sign up. You know, um, you can, you know, almost anyone you can become an affiliate for. I would really look at products that are that will sell for a little bit higher just because if it's your own product, you can sell products for as little as $5, $10, right? Maybe if it's an ebook, a PDF, and you can create those on Fiverr for anywhere between $20 to $100 um, or even courses. Uh, but if you are promoting someone else, so if you are an affiliate to someone else, I would look at a product that will be at least $500 to $1,000 just because a lot of uh, uh, programs will give you a 10, a 10 to 20 percent kickback, and if you look at it, even if you're promoting a $500 product at 20 percent, that's only a hundred bucks, right? So you want to be making good amount of money, you know. 
Um, so let's keep going. The second thing is that creating a Facebook personal account, not a as you see, as you see here, not a, a business account, a personal account. You will, will I'll tell you guys exactly why. Put a prof number three. Put a professional headshot for your main image. Don't you know? Don't let it be a selfie or, or or like a picture. I hate when I see people with like two or three different people on the page. Now, although I have a beautiful wife, I still don't have her on my Facebook. I have her on YouTube, but I can put her on Facebook because now people recognize me. People know who I am. People know who she is. But when you're first starting out, even if you're you know you've got a, a spouse that's super high, you know, super model, whatever, don't put them there just because people don't know you just yet. And people need to understand who you are, right? They're going to be confused, like, is this this person or is it that person? Um, preferably a white background, but uh, just a headshot would be good, right? Now, don't go too professional. Put a, you know, if you're a man, put a suit and tie. If you're a woman, you know, put something, like, very super professional and be uptight. Don't have to be. Be yourself, but just make it a nice headshot, right? Uh, create a professionally done background image. Use Fiverr.com. It, it will cost you between $5 to $25. Um in the description also, there are links to my social. Go to my Facebook and check out my background, right? Um, it's it's really cool. It, it cost me probably like $10, $15. Um, you know, I mean, I you know, yeah, I am a seven-figure earner. That's a different story, right? Maybe you're just starting out. You're not a seven-figure earner. Don't lie. Be yourself, but just make it look professional. That's all, right? Um, edit your personal info. Stay precise and place the most qualifying info, right? So don't go and say, oh, so I went to like five high schools and list all of your high schools. And I went to two colleges and list And then I worked at McDonald's and I worked like people don't need to know exactly everything. Put the most qualifying, but kind of like almost cover everything. And then also cover your qualifications, right? Also, you can go to my Facebook. I'll link it. Actually, I'll put it the second link in the description right below the link to this uh, PDF. And then you guys can go check out my, face, uh, my Facebook page. Um, Let's see here. Post at least two to three times per day for the first two to four weeks, right? Suggest so you post that often, always. But once you have 20, 30 posts, you can bring it down to once, uh, one time a day. Today, I post four times a day. In the morning, um, around between 6 to 8 a.m., and then in the after, kind of mid-afternoon, between 12 to 1 p.m., then again at 5 p.m., and then again at 9 p.m., right? I post four times a day, and it's a combination of pictures, quotes, uh, just wording, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, videos, things like that, right? Uh, once again, you can go check out my Facebook, my Facebook page. Um, the reason why you need to create, because look, your if you already have a Facebook page, awesome, clean it up. Sometimes, like when I first started, I had a Facebook page, um, but not that I often posted on it, but honestly, it's just. It just wasn't clean. Like I had a bunch of pictures of me and my boys going out and drinking and girls and things like that. And it just like if I tried to clean it up, it was going to take a long time. So all I did is I scrapped it. I created a new one and bam, right? If you have a, a decent Facebook page, clean it up. Um, otherwise, just start a new one, right? Um, when number eight, when or no, wait, number seven, make your post relatable about the topic you're you're covering but don't always only focus on that topic so if you go on my facebook page i am an amazon seller and i mentor people on how to sell on amazon but i'm not always talking about amazon like maybe i talk about amazon probably 20 percent of the times um otherwise i'm talking you know i'm creating i'm providing value because not everyone is interested about selling on amazon right but i at the same time a lot of times there are people that have been following me for a year just because of my content is so good. And then at the end, they're like, you know what, man? I've been hearing about this Amazon thing. Like, teach me, right? And I'm like, okay, cool. So don't only focus on what it is that you do, right? Let's say you're, you, you know, you're a fitness trainer. You're, you're a, 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 what do you call it? A trainer, right? Like a gym trainer, whatever they're called, right? Don't just focus on fitness and stuff like that. Like, try to bring in other maybe talk about foods you know like recipes share risk food recipes um you know shares you know yes you're gonna share diets and things like that but then also share food recipes maybe like um uh like share you know news about uh, uh, uh competitions things like that like sports that also could be you know uh like the nfl the, the mlb all that kind of stuff you know that can that's kind of like 
around your alley and then also cover things that you like. Like personally, I like motivating people. A lot of my stuff on Facebook, it's about motivating people and that's what I focus on, right? And that's why a lot of people like my stuff. Um, number, where are we? Some of these posts, maybe quotes, articles. Okay, so there you go. Uh, some of these posts, maybe um, quotes, articles, simple pictures of you, not of the ones you of you, but partying with your friends, keeping it professional, Q&A, etc., right? Number A, I skipped it. When first starting out, don't focus on selling in your post. Just provide value and create yourself as an authoritative figure in your space. So don't just start selling first because people don't know you. They're not going to buy from you. So just provide value, just content, value, 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 value. Now, guys, um, this is going to take a second until I read off of those. Be sure that you guys stick around until the end because I am going to be going inside of my uh, uh, Facebook or inside of my phone screen because I like to use my phone and show you guys exactly what I do how I do it, and I'm going to actually be implementing everything that you guys see, and I'll also be scrolling over my my feed so you guys see what I do. So be sure you guys stick around until the end. Um, now, number 11, it's okay to show your vul uh, vulnerable side, however. Um, this isn't the first uh, 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 the first three dates with a new companion. You need to, to always show your best side. Um, people like seeing the real you, too. So don't always show, like, the best of you, right? Be vulnerable sometimes. Go live at least two to five times a week. These can be short, 10 to 15 minutes. Don't uh, go past 30 minutes, especially when you're first starting out. Point is that you're showing people that you're a real human being. Discuss any topic, whether relatable to what you're doing or not. Once again, BPG, just not fake, right? So go to, you know, being live, like live has helped me so much, tremendously. Today I have a show on Facebook where I uh, feature entrepreneurs. And the reason why I do that, because now I'm not only trying to uh, bring uh, uh, um, you know people on my on my channel to so that other people can benefit from them Excuse me, but I'm also tapping to their audience as well right so be sure they go live I know this can be difficult when you first start up because you're like you know I'm shy I don't want to be on camera blah 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 just do it it'll help you believe me once you have been doing the stated above for at least two to four days begin joining Facebook groups related to your topic and your topic only now this is very important only join Facebook groups that are related to your topic. This is where you're going to make all of your money. Facebook groups. This is where I make all of my money. I generate between two to five clients, high ticket clients, right? I'm talking about thousands of dollars per client every single week, organically just spending a couple hours on Facebook per day, right? Um, and this is where we're going to make money. Everything else, it's like... It's like your storefront, right? Everything else so far is like your storefront, just making sure that the store looks good. But this is where we make the money, right? Right here. So be sure that you stay focused. Be sure still you stay until the end because I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Um, being or Begin posting periodically in these groups, two, two to four times per week per group. Once again, not selling anything, just providing value. If you sell, if you post a link, if you do anything, you're going to get kicked out. You don't want to do that. Just post value. That's it. So make sure only groups in your topic. When you post on your wall, now you may wonder, well, why am I going to post on my wall things that have nothing to do with my topic, but then I only join uh, my, uh, you know, groups that are within my topic. I'll tell you in a little bit. Just stay tuned. Begin posting periodically in these groups. Okay, so we already said that. Um, at the same time, begin adding people from these groups 50 per day. Now, here is where the magic happens. So you have joined these groups. Right, you have started. Um, what's it called? You have started uh, um, joining these groups. You have started um, adding people, and now you're going to start adding people. So what you've done is that you have created your Facebook page. You have created. You have made it look like it's professional, and you have also um, uh, what do you call it? You have also uh, uh, um, you know started posting on your wall, showing that you are a real person, showing that you are an authoritative figure in your space, right? And now you're going to start posting in these groups showing that, hey guys, I exist. I am a real person. And then you're going to start adding people. Don't go over 50 people per day, especially when you're first starting out, especially if your Facebook page is fresh and new, just because Facebook will block you, right? Start at 50 per day. Now what you do the next day, those who have accepted you, right? And this is every day you're going to do this, guys. Those who have accepted you, what you're going to do is you're going to send them a PM. You're not going to, you know, sell them anything. This is something that I sent, and I'm going to show you guys. Just stick around because we're going to go inside of my Facebook, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how I implement this. I do this until now. I have, 
created a six-figure consulting business from this alone, right? And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. So this is exact my message, and I'm going to show you guys that this is the exact message. Hello, Christine, uh, or Christian, Christine, whatever. Bashar Khatu here, Amazon be a seller from beautiful San Diego. Just recently became friends on here, and I thought I'd stop by and say hello. As you saw, not selling anything, just stopping in, saying hello. That's it, right? Um, th what this does is, number one, it builds a trust, and it shows you that you're not another creep who's going to add them as a friend and never say anything, right? Like, I hate when people do that. Two, when they see your post pop up on their timeline, they're more likely to interact with them, meaning the algorithm will show your content more often. So it's all about the algorithm. The more interaction you get with your content, with your posts, the more your, your, your content is going to show, right? And it's going to rank to the top. So even if, if those people that don't even like something, a lot of times, like you're going to go back and see people that are not even going to say anything. They're just going to open the message, look at it, and that's cool, right? But you got to understand what these people are going to do, whether you, they like it or not, they're going to go onto your page and they're going to look at your post. They're going to look at, you know, your description, things like that. They're going to see that you are a, a, uh, 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 someone that knows what they're talking about, right? And this is exactly what's going to happen here. Um, so that's what you want to do, right? So just, just keep moving forward. Those who respond, progress the conversation to how are you and how is your life treating you, uh, or how is life treating you, and then what line of business are you in? And that's when things get in, right? And then it goes into, well, I am an Amazon seller. I just started selling on Amazon and I'm struggling, or I just launched this product and it's just not working out for me. Awesome. Do you want me to analyze it for you? Or, you know, I, I, I placed my order and uh, the product is on its way. Oh, that's great. How did you place the order? Did you actually, do you have a mentor? Do you have someone helping you in this? No, actually, I just kind of been following some YouTube videos. Awesome. Did you have someone um, analyze the product for you? Honestly, no. Would you mind me to analyze it for you? Sure. And then, bam, and never solve, always diagnose. That's it, right? Um, and then here it says, go to event. Oh, and then that's another thing that I do as well. Uh, wait, did I? Those who, okay, so I, I missed this. Those truly interested in the subject will tell you about how they are just starting or they've been in the business. Those who say that they're just starting out um, and they need help, stay with them, progress the conversation until you give them enough time to check out your profile and realize you know what you're talking about, then they will ask you for your help. And I'll show you guys exactly a couple conversations that I have personally. Um, another thing that I do every single day, go to the events tab, then go to birthdays, and then wish everyone a happy birthday. And I'll show you guys that I do this every single day. Do these things seven days a week. Shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes to one hour every single day. And honestly, guys, it'll take you guys some time, but you're going to see your consulting business or whatever business it is that's going to start growing. If it's a PDF, if it's an affiliate link, if whatever it is that you are promoting, this is a way that I was able to launch a brand on Facebook and scale it to six figures using organic Facebook traffic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my uh, phone screen. I like using my phone. I don't like the computer. And I'll show you guys exactly what I do every single morning, what I did this morning. And this is available for you guys. The first link in the description is going to be to this PDF. The second link is going to be to my Facebook page. You guys can go and check it out. So without any further ado, let's jump onto my Facebook page. All right, guys. So we are inside of my phone here right now, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. So this is just something also that I do is that I post a story. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. So this is just a story that I posted. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't think you guys can hear it. I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, this is just kind of being me, right? This is where you can be a little bit more of you. Um, like, you know, I was just by the pool earlier today. I was, you know, having seen, I was listening to some rock. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But, you know, just showing the pool, whatever, you know, that I can hang out. And then food. And then I'm, I'm actually posting value here, right? Just providing value, showing people that, you know, I'm a real person, giving them value. Oh, my God. And then just, you know, showing them that. So here's what I do every day, right? So I'll go to groups, right? And then there are all these groups that I am part of. They're all Amazon FBA groups. So what I'll do is I'll go to one of them. I'll choose one for the day, and then I'll go to the members, right? And then I'll go to see all members, and then I'll go to newly added, right? So I'll go to new to the group. I've already added 50 for the day, so I'm not going to do it. And what I'll do is I'll just go down and then just like start. You see how what, like what I'm doing right now? And then just start adding 50 people, right? And I'll just do 50. I'll just count 50 all the way down, right, until I'm done with 50. So now I'm done for that task. I'm, I've already accomplished that task. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my page, 
actually here, let, let's show you guys um, at Beep. So as you can see here, this is a post that I created just earlier, and I'm asking people. So I have a daily show, uh, a weekly show, and I'm um, getting people to, um, you know, to uh, to interview with me, right? So I've got a few. And then I earlier today, the first thing in the morning, all I did, you see here, I posted. You know, it's a it's something for people to interact with me, but at the same time, I'm I'm showing that you know these are my students' results. You know. You start something like this guy is doing, you know, although it says 5K a month, but it's 5K a week. This guy's doing over 25K a month. This guy's doing 130 a month. Uh, this guy made $36,000 in profits. This guy's doing, you know, 80, whatever, 83,000. I think that's this month so far. And he's probably going to be doing over, you know, 90,000. This guy's doing, what is that, 30 days, 63,000. This guy's tripled their business. So just like, you know, giving results and uh, just showing them that, hey, you know, like I mean what I, you know, I know what I'm talking about, right? Now, this is another thing, just promoting people. Uh, this is just a quote. You know, this is just me putting in the quote. Uh, this is just me being me. Hey, you know, I've been trying to do this task, blah, blah. This is a value video, you know, I, where I'm providing, just providing value. This is promoting. I'm actually promoting, right? I have a $7 a month mastermind and 37 people commented. And another thing, you know, just providing value here, right? Not asking for anything. This, I was actually selling. You know, getting people to go to my case study, right? Um, here, once again, just providing value. Another video, just providing value. I do a lot of these videos, um, as you guys have seen. Um, I was interviewed on the show. I provided this. You know, so as you can see here, just a mix of a lot of different things. So what we're going to do is after we've added the 50 people, I'm going to go in to the, those people that added me yesterday, right? The way I do it is that I go to see all friends, and then you go to recent. And then all these guys right here at the top are people that have added me. These are actually people that have added me this morning. Let's get, oh, my God. So from here, I started here this morning. So just look at the, the, the message, right? So it says, hello, Shuaib. And I always make sure, and I literally just copy-paste the, the same exact one. And I, um, what do you call it? And I um, just change the name. Make sure that you do the name, right? So hey, um, Amazon, a PS seller from beautiful San Diego. Just became from Amazon here recently. And I thought I'd stop in and say hello. Bam, done, right? And then I'll go to the next one. And then same thing here. Hello, Ahmed, Bashar Gatir, blah, 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 right? Same thing. And then I'll go to Ethna. Now, Ethna is actually someone who has scheduled a call with me through my Facebook ads. Uh, same here. So Dill, Dial, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so this guy actually had commented. Um, Molly and Dennis, right? And then bam. So do you see how, like, do you see how this person actually looked at my message but never responded? That's fine. Because they already went in and they looked at my uh, my profile and they saw that I am actually someone who knows what the hell they're talking about, right? Um, let's see here. So, like, let's say this guy. I know we had a conversation. So, hi, good to you, excellent. How is life treating you, right? And then just like that, right? And then you'll just progress the conversation from there. Um, let me see here. Zena. Let's see here. Someone that I actually. Okay, so like this guy, you know, um, having a conversation with him, just back and forth. Um, did it for a long time. Actually, he reached out to me, um, you know, and then just kind of having a conversation with people, you know. Um, okay, so this person. So, hello. Um, hi, nice connecting. Greeting from Sweden. Glad been selling for three years. How about yourself? You're at VA Business. I just purchased Jungle Scout stuff. Awesome. <clears throat> Congrats. Um, got anyone helping you in this journey? No, I, I've done a lot of my research myself. Awesome. Um, and then she's like, oh, do you offer one-on-one? -on -one? I said, yes, I only, but I, you know, I work with select few. I am at the point where I, I am very picky about who I work with. Oh, here's this. This is a perfect example. So I actually have a call scheduled. Let me show you guys the entire conversation. So once again, I added her on Wednesday, Thursday. I sent a message. How are you doing? Hope you had a great prime day. It was prime day, so sales were skyrocketing. Um, it was seeing my students crush out by you. No, I didn't do anything different for sales, blah, blah, blah. And as you can see here, just, you know, going back and forth. Have you profited? Nope. Um, all gone in PPC. Mentor, do you have a mentor? Yes, blah, blah, blah. Do they know selected the company? Oh, this and that, right? And then, so just going back and forth here, um, you know, talking to them, just literally just a regular conversation, right? And then she's like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Just been looking at your profile. I had no idea you sold mentoring stuff. Otherwise, I would have never said anything about courses, blah, blah, blah. I said, no worries. I believe in providing value. Well, listen, if there's anything I can do, let me know if there's anything I can do and add value. 
He's like, I guess you should ask about mentoring. And then I said this, and this is something that I always say to everyone. I show myself that I mean business. I don't work with everyone. And I said, I'll be honest with you, I don't, because of how much personal time I invested in each one of my students and how much of my great results my students have achieved, I don't work with anyone. I have cherry picked all of my 103 students and blah, blah, blah. And then I said at the end, it's a phone interview. It's like, I'm happy to chat with you and an excellent. And then I sent her some questions here to answer. And then she gave me the answers that I was looking for. So I scheduled with her and then we're doing a follow up. I talked to her earlier. She wanted some testimonials. I sent her a bunch of testimonials. And then bam, and then um, you know, providing value, and then we're going to be talking here in a couple of days, and then I'll probably be closing her. So, this is just a way to do it, right? Um, providing value, adding people number one, right, on these groups, and then after that, making sure that you are always posting, right, on your wall, always posting. I post four times a day right now. If you can do that, do it. If not, at least once a day, if not twice a day, right? Uh, post story as well, right? And you could be a little bit more. Um, you know, um, I guess a little bit more, uh, what do you call it? Um, like relaxed here, right? It's your story, right? So like I post food sometimes like on Sundays, I go with the wife, I post about that kind of stuff and whatnot. And then make sure always engage. If people comment, always coming back. If people like, like their stuff back, you know, uh, and always providing value, providing content. So hope that this works guys. So as I mentioned earlier, this is exactly how I was able to build a six-figure brand on Amazon organically without any paid traffic, without any, you know, uh, uh, any outside advertising or anything like that. Just simply showing people that I am an authoritative figure, providing value, creating content, and reaching out to people, and then not selling, not spamming at all, but just building that trust and really building the uh, uh, the rapport with people and then selling them from there, getting them on the phone and selling them. Also, I do have a full sales script that I can actually provide you guys. If you guys are interested in that, drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys found value in this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if this is your first time here as I post daily videos and as you can see here, um, I don't always post tutorials. It's always about tutorials. I post uh, just content and value. Um, so if you guys like my channel, consider subscribing. And also consider sharing this video with your friends and tagging their names below. Um, the question of the day, let me know what topics you guys like to learn about. You know, I know a lot of things. I know about Google ads, Facebook ads, you know, creating brands, um, you know, click funnels, Amazon FBA selling, obviously. Um, drop shipping. I know a bunch of things. So I'm just kind of like going into my inventory of knowledge and really creating videos. Um, I think this is the strongest I've ever come back to YouTube. I've always wanted to come back, but it's always been one video here, one video there. But I've made a promise to myself that I'll actually be posting daily videos six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Sunday, I do take off. So once again, if you did find value in this video, drop a yes in the comment section. Let me know what video you guys want to see next. Consider subscribing if this is your first time and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for tuning in for this video. I will see you guys in the next video, which is not tomorrow, but on Monday. Y'all have a great day and take care.